Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a uniform rod AB of length 2R rests inside a hemispherical bowl of radius R as shown. Neglecting friction determine the angle theta corresponding to equilibrium. In this problem, given is a uniform rod of length 2 times radius of this hemispherical bowl is resting inside this hemispherical bowl as shown in figure. So, for the condition of equilibrium, we need to find theta. Let us see in the coming slides uh, how, to find, how to solve this problem. First, let us see forces and reactions. The weight of the bar AB will be acting from the center of the bar vertically downwards and weight is W like shown here. And at this end A, there is a reaction RA will be acting towards this direction and line of action uh, passes through the center of this circle drawn over this hemispherical bowl. And uh, another reaction C, RC at point C will be acting perpendicular to this bar AB and direction is shown here. And a line extended from RC and line extended from this W and line extended from RA must meet at this point O. So for equilibrium, the lines drawn from all these forces must meet at this point O. So now we form a triangle here, A, O and C, a right angle triangle here. So in this triangle, uh, this angle is theta since this angle is theta. So in this uh, triangle A, O, C, let us call this distance O to C is X. So this distance O to A is 2R, that is diameter of this circle, that is uh, uh, 2 times radius of this semispherical ball. So from this triangle A, O, C, uh, X can be written as X equal to 2R sin theta. So now we have another triangle here, O, C and this small c. So if this angle is theta, this angle is theta, this angle will also be theta. So in this triangle, we can write cos theta equal to x by y. Let us call this distance O to this small c is y. So cos theta can be written as cos theta equal to x by y. So x we already know that that is 2r sin theta. So y equal to 2r sin theta y cos theta. Now from this triangle A, O, C, so this angle is theta, this angle is 90 degrees. So angle from this line to this line will become 90 minus theta. So here again we have a theta. So angle from this line to this line will become 90 minus 2 theta. So this angle is theta, this angle is 90 minus 2, 2 theta, 90 minus 2 theta. So this angle will become 180 minus theta minus 90 plus 2 theta. So that is 90 plus theta. So this is theta, this is 90 minus 2 theta and this is 90 plus theta. So we have here a triangle A, O, C. Now let us write sine rule for this triangle A, O, C. So sine rule is Y by sine theta equal to uh, this distance A to C is R. So R by sine 90 minus 2 theta equal to 2R by sine 90 plus theta. That is written here from this triangle. O A C sin rule is y by sin theta equal to r by sin 90 minus 2 theta equal to 2 r by sin 90 plus theta. Now let us take first and second terms. So from this two we can write y by sin theta equal to r by sin 90 minus 2 theta. So we know that uh, from previous slides y equal to 2 r sin theta by cos theta. So that is substituted here. So this term will become 2 r sin theta by cos theta again here sin theta is there sin theta that equal to r by sin 90 minus 2 theta can be written as cos 2 theta so from this equation this r sin theta sin theta and r gets cancelled so we get 2 equal to cos theta by cos 2 theta so cos 2 theta can be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1 so here we have 2 equal to cos theta by 2 cos square theta minus 1 so after rearranging this, we get a quadratic equation that is 4 cos square theta minus cos theta minus 2 equal to 0. So the roots of this quadratic equation is cos theta equal to 1 plus minus square root of 1 square minus 4 into 4 into minus 2 divided by 2 into 4. 
So after solving this, we get theta equal to 32.6 degrees. So if you want to find the reactions RC and RA, now let us draw a force triangle. First, let us take W. W here, uh, this line is, this arrow is parallel to this arrow here. So this is W and from the end of this W, we draw, a, draw an arrow that is parallel to this RC. So that is drawn here. So from the end of RC, let us draw an arrow again uh, that is parallel to RA. So now we form a triangle here. So in this triangle, uh, since the angle between W and RC is theta here, so angle between W and RC is theta. So this angle is theta and angle between RA and W is 90 minus 2 theta since uh, the angle between here RA and W is 90 minus 2 theta. So if this is theta, this is 90 minus 2 theta, this angle will become 90 plus theta. So let us write sine rule for this triangle. So sine rule is W by sine 90 plus theta equal to RC by sine 90 minus 2 theta that is also equal to RA by sine theta. So that is written here. So W by sine 90 plus theta equal to RC by sine 90 minus 2 theta equal to RA by sine theta. So from this uh, equation we can find RC and RA for a given W. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.